Chloe DeLandis for University TV here at Mitchell College in New London, Connecticut. This is the historic bell and they ring it at convocation, graduation and alumni events. Let's start our tour. Mitchell College is located on the banks of the Thames River in New London, Connecticut and is located midway between New York City and Boston. Michael's Dairy is a 70-year-old establishment that's now on Mitchell's campus and is a southeastern Connecticut favorite. Hello! Their hospitality and tourism students have working internships here, and with over 45 flavors, they're very friendly. All right, Graham Central Station, I hear is good? Yeah, excellent. <laughs> 10 free samples. Ah, thank you. We don't lie here either. That is very good. Mitchell's campus sits on 68 sprawling acres with an arboretum and Victorian architecture. These are the Mitchell Woods, a natural preserve right on campus. And there are two beaches on campus. Our environmental studies students have to understand the chemistry of water and soil and air and so um, I try to incorporate those kinds of topics into my classes. Uh, we even do an evaluation of the water in Mitchell Pond. Mitchell College has a total enrollment of about 1,000 students, all of which are undergrads. The gender makeup of the student body is evenly split at 50-50. The diversity rate is high at 32%. I really enjoyed our first year of seminar courses. It was a lot of surveying. Got to know a lot of my classmates within the first couple weeks. It's a class just for freshmen, so I got to see who I really liked, who I fit in with. My friends here at Mitchell have been like a family away from home. There definitely will be friends that I carry with me throughout my whole life. The typical Mitchell GPA is around a 2.7 we're SAT and ACT optional. Uh, for Mitchell, because we're a smaller school, we've always had the opportunity to look at a student's transcript. And a transcript tells us better what a student will do in the classroom, how they'll perform in college, than an SAT or an ACT score. Tuition costs at Mitchell run about $25,000 per year for in and out of state residents and another $12,000 for room and board. About 91% of the students who apply and come to Mitchell will receive merit and need-based aid. And each of the students will have their own financial aid counselor that will work with them throughout the time they're here at Mitchell from freshman all the way through senior year. There are 14 bachelor programs with 23 different concentrations, three associate programs, and one certificate program at Mitchell College. One of the things Mitchell does really well is give students who may not have been high achievers in their K-12 years the opportunity to be successful in their four-year degree plan. Um, we provide them with the support that they need to succeed, and we've had many students come in and everyone you know, kind of keeps their fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, I hope this student is going to make it, and it's amazing. Um, at the end of the four years, the turnaround that you see in students. Some of the most popular majors are criminal justice, early childhood education, hospitality and tourism, and business. I think Mitchell College is definitely, definitely a place for a student who wants to get involved. Um, in our department, wants a place where they can have a lot of hands-on experience both in the community and on the campus. In sports management, there's a lot of marketing that does, goes along with it and incorporating that with what I want to do with my goal. And they definitely helped me as well, as the Career Center did as well. Um, helped me improve my resumes. Just definitely made me a better person. While there is no tenure for the faculty, out of Mitchell's 35 professors, 62% hold a PhD or the highest degree attainable in their field. I love the professors, um, they're very personable, so that's probably my favorite part about Mitchell, that's what keeps me here. Fifteen Mariners varsity sports teams compete at the NCAA Division III level in the New England Collegiate Conference. The Manor, he's a big blue um, wave, I pretty much act a fool in different games, so I think it's definitely cool. With eight different housing options at Mitchell, there are plenty of opportunities for students to meet tons of fellow Mariners and be close to their classes. I lived on the um, waterfront properties here on campus and I woke up to a gorgeous water view every day and um, we never put our shades down so that was always nice. Join a pre-existing club or create a new one with your friends. The choice is yours. Enjoy all the campus has to offer including Battle of the Bands, language immersion programs or take a trip. 
Holidays are a huge part of the tradition here at Mitchell. We are a family. When students are away from their own family, they need to create another family that is supportive and helps them achieve the goals that they want to. Each December, the college celebrates diverse religious holiday practices from lighting the menorah and a Christmas tree to lighting the Kwanzaa candle, bringing students together. We all get together, we sing songs, and we celebrate. You know, each of the holidays is important to students, and it grounds them, it connects them to um, their own traditions, as well as the Mitchell traditions. Nathan Hale was one of Connecticut's favorite sons. He's also a very prominent figure in Mitchell tradition. Rumor has it, if you rub his foot and you study really hard, you'll get good grades. Looking for a school that has it all? A tight-knit feel with big city amenities right outside your dorm door? Then being a Mitchell Mariner is where it's at. Well, thanks so much for joining us at Mitchell College. I'm Chloe Delanis with University TV, and I want another opportunity to ring this bell. See you soon.